What is something normal to women but mind-blowing to men? When I was in my early 20s, I started traveling the world. I was completely blown away with how many women came up to me and asked me to walk with them. They were scared of a stalker or a group harassing them. I know this doesn't happen to many people, but I'm 6'5 and was about 290 pounds back then. I looked and was a bouncer. This has happened in Rome, Barcelona, Lisbon, Tijuana, Kuala Lumpur, Madrid, Maui, Los Angeles and Mumbai. Wearing a bra for a week. Titties are not genitalia, period. Titty sweat usually don't even stink BC there usually isn't any excessive bacteria. Maybe underarm sweat can get on the brass. But if a girl is wearing the right bra, it's not in her underarms and therefore less likely for underarm sweat to get on the bra. We wouldn't wear the bra for a week if it stank. Trust me. Intuition and emotional intelligence. Women are often stereotyped as being more in touch with their emotions and intuition than men. Not universally true. Some women may have a stronger ability to pick up on subtle emotional cues and social dynamics, which can be surprising to men who haven't developed this skill to the same degree. Handbag purse navigation to women is the simplest. My numb thing third pocket on the left in the zipper part, probably at the bottom. Two men, they just can't get past the first pile of receipts to find the thing we asked for which is the third pocket. The one with the button or zip. Just how elastic the vagina can be. That said, as a baby, I broke my collarbone when I was late coming out. Another thing that's mind-blowing is how much money women PSS away or extra clothes and shoes. Probably enough to be able to clothe about 50 people for a fortnight. Something that is normal to women that might be mind-blowing to some men is the complexity and intricacies of childbirth. The entire process of pregnancy, labor, and delivery including the physical and emotional aspects, can be all inspiring for those who haven't experienced it firsthand. Being single and not having a long list of gentlemen callers or sex partners. For some reason, if a woman is single, men assume in reality she has a list of guys in rotation. But in reality, it is often true we just don't want to be bothered right now by any of y'all. Period mood swings. I can't imagine what it feels to just not be your normal self for a few days. Also requires we men be very empathic to our significant others. When they are going through this, and cut them a bit of slack when act in ways they usually don't. Texting a friend, hey. Going on a date with a guy I met online, here's his full name, number, and license plate. I've shared my location. Please check it every 15 minutes and here's my code word if I need you to call the cop Soxo. Something that may be common knowledge to some women, but most likely not many men, is that tampons pre a certain year actually had anesthetic, some even cocaine, which apparently helped tremendously with period pains. My husband had never realized that women don't go out by themselves for safety rather than socializing. He was shocked when I told him that the first rule women learn is to never go anywhere alone. Getting regular compliments about image. Well, I have gotten maybe two in the last year. I bet guys would be amazed at how often it happens to women and usually how shitty the compliments. Oh, had to go downtown late at night to pick up someone from the train station and had to walk a couple blocks. The amount of fear I had and attention I got would probably blow a guy's mind. Understanding their anatomy and body. For obvious reasons, more women are aware of their bodies, their parts and functions than men. Sometimes we have to solve our own health issues. Most women suffer periods since teenager, and some might potentially get pregnant, experience miscarriages or go through childbirth. Surely these will be enough to mind-blowing to men. Not being able to walk in the night or woods without fear. Fear of males acting like monsters. I shouldn't need a switchblade to take a walk but I've needed one three times now. Eads are inserted without any kind of anaesthetic. 
if you're lucky. They warn you to take some painkillers before. Then they grab your cervix with metal tongs and force it open. As a white dude in his 40s, I've never walked alone at night clutching my keys worried I'd be raped on the way to my car. This is was a real thing my wife's mum passed down. Doctors not taking your symptoms seriously and blaming everything on female anatomy or mental health. And it taking five years to get a diagnosis for something that isn't even rare. Folding a plastic cup shoving it inside your vagina and feeling it plop open, then fishing it out again when it's full of blood, turning the toilet into a murder scene, there being several different kinds of shoes and knowing exactly what to call each of them as, opposed to a shoe sneaker boot. That's where a man's vocabulary ends. I had to. The first was excruciating and afterwards I felt like I was going into shock. The second was mild discomfort. No idea what caused the difference. I was in a hotel in Brussels and there were little baggies in. I had no idea what it was until I saw women written on the dispenser. Then it hit me. Well, I'm a simple block-headed man and truthfully no little. But what I know is women can have back-to-back -back orgasms and no man on this planet can. What women have to pay at the hairdresser. It's actually not mind-blowing but sad. Women pay twice for the same amount of work. I feel a girl being nice to you doesn't mean she actually likes you or is giving you good advice. Some women purposely sabotage other women. That menstrual pads don't stick to the skin but instead to the underwear. My mind was blown when my wife explained it to me. Being vigilant about getting out of our car. A public place or even our own home at night, depending on where we live. Looking someone directly in the eye and having a rational conversation as your body gushes blood out of your pee hole. We can feel depressed, emotional and hateful just before our period starts and it's a horrible experience. Being able to go to a playground with your kids and not be stared at like you're there to molest. Children, women who won't procreate should suffer, I guess that's the past. Present, future for women in America. Considering what would make you easily kidnappable time of day, root, other security cameras. The anxiety and horror of swallowing cum for the first time and having to lie about how it tastes. The it's not clean because it's not done how I do it is real I hate it and emo woman. The money and time required to keep your hair professionally coloured. Never again and the fact that this is the 27th time this question has been asked in the last two weeks. Menstruation. Can you imagine a guy bleeding from his dick for a week every month? The amount of luggage they have to pack for a holiday. And how long it takes. The price of razors marketed to women versus the price of razors marketed to men. Wasn't this just posted? With the exact same top comment no less. Yesterday. That maybe you shouldn't lie act your way into getting sex. It is moral. Being able to remember and play back an entire conversation word for word. Multitasking and still having the energy to placate them in the evening. Monthly bleeding. I'd most likely will be scared if I see my pee pee bleeding. Hairbrush. Why do they have so many of them laying in the bathroom? Them having an android pretty rare. Me having an android common. Tiring beauty standards. Your value being determined by your looks. Abortions performed without any anesthetics or even a paracetamol. Being average looking but still getting attention on dating apps. Discharge complete underwear. Not stain, actually remove color. The amount of safety measures we take on a day-to-day -day basis. Probably watching your six anytime you're out in public alone. Having like five orgasms. I get one and I need a day to recoup. Most men would be shocked if their genitals started bleeding. Knowing how to get blood out of clothing, need I say more? The quizzits had a ability to view past female lives. Living your whole life without personal responsibility. 